Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of League of Legends Wild Rift. And in today's video we want to have a deeply look at Trash. The support hero got a huge buff in the latest update and I thought it's a good idea to make a video about him and to see if he got now really overpowered or if the patch wasn't looked good but in real it is not that good. And if you're curious why I think he is now quite a bit overpowered, just stay tuned and watch this video until the end. Yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to this Wild Rift video. And I'm right now Diamond 4, 53 points and hopefully getting a little bit higher this season. And we are searching now a game and hopefully we can play Trash. While we are searching, let's have a short look at the latest patch notes. Trash. While Trash is a high skill cap champion, his power levels upon release left something to be desired. We are increasing the base soul drop rate and reducing blaze charge time to compensate for Wild Drift's faster pace and shorter game time. His base stats got increased, the base health from 570 to 610 and the base health regeneration from 7.5 to 11 which is quite I increase. Furthermore, his skills have been uh, changed. Uh, damnation, the base soul drop rate from 33% to 40%, that's 7% more. And the bad luck protection stays the same. Furthermore, the dark passage, uh, that is the ability which gains you shield. And it increased the shield strength quite a lot in the early game but in the late game it got decreased a little bit so that's more a balance not that high increase so i'm presetting now trash in behind but we have a further look at him we have another one flay that is the passive charge time so whenever it is filled up he's doing additional damage which is really nice and this one got decreased nearly to the half from 10 seconds to 6 seconds and we will definitely see that in game that this one affects him quite a lot. That in addition to his base health he got now quite powerful and my latest games have been really really nice with him. For sure I am not a good player, I am just an average player and we can play him that's totally nice. And. I still think he, he got now definitely better usage. I, I didn't think that he was too big when he was released. I played him as well, but I need some games to find my way to play him. And as I said, I've, there is still a lot of space to improve. So if you have any tips for me, please let me know in the comment section. And yeah, let's have a look at his setup. I'm using now, um, that should not be the standard team support. That's an adapted one. We have some different items here. The Dead Man's Blade at first, as this one is increasing our movement speed and um, attacks deal up to 100 bonus damage, magic damage based on momentum. Uh, remove melee attacks with maximum momentum slow by 50% one second. So, this one is quite a good start, even if it is giving us additional armor. With the collected souls, we're getting armor as well as. Uh, some some power, some strength, some AP um, to do further damage with the other abilities. I think this is a good one to start. And as next, we're going for the Abyssal Mask to be a little bit more uh, durable against magical damage. So this hero is quite um, quite depending on the opponent team. If the opponents have a lot of AD damage, for sure he will be better compared to teams who have a lot of AP damage. In the first look. This enemy team looks quite good. We might have a good chance here. Pantheon as a support can be quite difficult. And yeah, the next items. We got the Mercury's Locket for Team Shield as well as Randuin's Omen to reduce the attack speed. And Zekis um, just to give us a little bit more magic resistance. This one is the most flexible one as I'm chasing it sometimes a little bit earlier. And whenever you use... Uh, your hero power you can slow down additionally by the hero power which is slowing down uh, as well so and you have seen the runes down below so now let's get into the battlefield and hopefully i can uh, do a good game and lo look at those ranks why the hell we got now mixed together with these high ranks okay Nevertheless, I will try my best. Oh lol, 
and that's first try I'm recording it and uh, I thought I will upload it anyway even if I lose because that happens that's part of the game with a win rate of 52% you lose really the same amount as you win so let's get ahead and this one will now or this one might now be a little bit cut off I'm not sure if I will cut these scenes uh, the good one in or if I will uh, believe the full commentary here so we are starting not on the mirror map, we are starting normally on the bottom line, bottom lane, together with Kaiser. We have Akali, which got quite a high or huge nerf in the latest update, but can be still, uh, can be still really good. If that's a good play and the thought, Kali was a top 50, if I saw it correct, I don't know. Um, I may even see it at the end, after the game once again, and now... We are on our lane, in the laning phase against Pantheon, as well as Wayne. Wayne, extremely powerful, I like more of those shield supports with the Wayne. I like to play more of those shield, we, um, shield supports to play with together with Wayne as a tank. But for sure, Wayne is a beast if she gets fed. So we got already to level 2, 2 abilities ready and we are trying to collect as much souls as possible already get four souls that means we got bonus armor and ability power by plus six and we need to hit whenever the yellow bar fills to red rightly on my head um, we need to hit the opponent as this one is doing additional damage we will have a look at it when we are dead or in a, a minute where we are not under pressure that much I already go to this menu. Need to have a look. There was the opponent, Olaf. And we got a first blood in the middle, but be careful. Olaf coming straight to the middle. So we have some space that. Oh, that is not good. But we can survive that. Couldn't get any kill here. Oh, need to be careful. Yeah, definitely need to get back. Pantheon is super tanky straight from the start. Oh. I can't get him. I need to eat the fruit even if it's desired for my, my ADC. There are too many minions, otherwise I would have tried to attack the opponent. So we need to be patient, that's the key. As with every minute, our hero is getting stronger with the collected souls. Just be patient, stay on the line, try to do some damage, poke the enemies. At least that's my tactic and then try to get some kills in a good gank to get ahead. But I think with the latest patch it's not that hard to get ahead with. Okay, his trade came out of nowhere there. Nice move from him, to be honest. Did ward that, our mistake definitely. Let's get back to home. And we made it. And let's try to get back to the lane. So let's have a look at the opponents first. Yeah. Already quite a little bit ahead. Yeah. Ally slain and another kill for the opponents. Tracking up in 26 seconds. Hmm. Wayne. So the opponent Pantheon is quite nice. Oh, they are, they have a real tanky team, Galio and Pantheon. Yeah, I can't do anything. Oh, he was escaping. I thought the auto it will would would hit the enemy, but we 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 did it. We get a kill there, assist for us. Trying to get some further souls. We are already at 15 souls. That's that's quite nice, especially because they have all those heroes doing a lot of AD damage, but they have a twisted fate in Galio with AP damage.
and that opponent got blown away but i'm not sure if we will be able to get out of here I want to somehow support my team with a shield okay okay they got they got the kill oh well played six well played couldn't do that much but five assists already that's that's nice and we got the first drake 10 5 in the lead that's really nice now oh quite a hard game and as i said before i'm maybe not that good with him but i still like to play him i really enjoy to play him i already enjoyed to play blitzcrank uh, because these are skill-based heroes to hit the 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 catches and as i said i'm not that good but for sure i'm enjoying those heroes to snipe the opponents and help your team with uh, some massive stuns there <clears throat> so now we need okay what was your plan oh we couldn't hit Wayne there but I think we can go for a fight uh, we may ah they already can see Oh, we got me. I nearly have had the shield ready, but we got a double kill there at the bottom lane from our teammates. So four enemies on the crown. That was that was nice. We got a kill and two additional assists. It was worse to die there. First death. Ah, that happens for sure. It can happen, but yeah, I really like this guy. We already have collected 20 souls. That means we got already 30 additional armor and ability power. And if you have a look at the teams or at the hero stats. We got ability power. Where can I find it? Uh, of 30 and 80, 74. Yeah. And we got a armor of 118. So that's like yeah, 25% additional by the souls. That is quite a lot. As it is not using any uh, item slot. That helps us definitely to be more durable. Oh, that one could escape once again. But the, the damage is so massive. Okay, not sure if we will be able to escape from here. Looking good. The damage is really, really high. From that uh, loaded attack. However, I should call it. Will Our Rift Herald is ready. Let's get to that position. Top lane looking good as well. Should have repeat back to the base. But I thought we could do some more damage here in the mid lane. Ah, 25% left from that tower. So let's go back straight now and do something for the magical resistance as the opponents are getting stronger. As I said before, the passive got buffed as well. So we have reduced time from 10 to 6 seconds. Um... There we have, yeah, there we have the passive attack deals additional 21 to 151 damage. So that is the, it's based on the souls and that's why these attacks are really important and getting better with every single minute. We have a flash ready in five seconds. Okay, they want to do something here. There's Pantheon. We should get out of here. Can't do that much, to be honest. They've attacked with four opponents and the dragon is up. So that was a little bit too early by our mid laner. Okay, we got that ward. And I'm dead. Maybe I'm not dead. Got the double kill there. Yeah, we got the dragon. And shield our teammate. No, that was a miss. I auto clicked again. And Akali can she slow down the opponent? Triple kill by our Camille. Perfectly played. And the enemy team has surrendered. What the hell was that match? 1-1-13, I think it's okay, you know, I didn't, I couldn't even show some skills of him. 
I missed some hooks there, but I think for the team game, it's quite nice. We got a lot of assists, which are not that hard to get. You're active fighting 12 points and an S rating. Ah, unfortunately, you cannot see it. We have had a 93.5 clean value compared to the other players on the same rank. Nice. Definitely giving, giving some up to the MVP, Camille, as well. Ah, we can give them all. That was a clean team fight. Ah, oh, ADC, 5-4. Could have been hard if the enemy, uh, Wayne, would have been or would, would have been fit. And we got an opponent, 1-8, in the mid lane. We have may lost that opponent. So we have seen a lot of masters in the opponent team. Master, master. And one diamond, one player. That is interesting to see. So that's it about today's video. We couldn't have that deeply look at Trash. Therefore, the game was quite short. But now it's your turn, guys. Do you like the update? And what are your opinions? Luton's Echo got buffed as well. So I really like to play him. I definitely will keep on playing him. Maybe in a stream or an additional video. Please let me know your um, ideas, suggestions about the video itself. Please let me know if, if you like the video and what any kind of content I should do for the game. I really love it and I've played already over 300 games this season, uh, which is quite a lot for me. Um, stats, we have 334 matches. So thank you guys that you have watched the video until now and we will see us in a future episode of League of Legends Wild Rift.